Do you know how to simplify radical expressions? Well first, a radical expression uses radical notation. So you can see radical notation as being a square root, such as the square root of 16. It could look like this, 4 to the 1 half power, which is the same as the square root of 4. Any time you see expressions like this, we are talking about radical expressions. And we can simplify radical expressions, we can evaluate radical expressions, and we can describe them using radical notation. Let's look at an example. Can you write 16 to the 1 half power in radical notation? Radical notation means that I want to get rid of this one-half power, and I want to represent this number using a radical. Now I know that anything to the one-half power, I can use a radical to represent that. So this becomes this, and the 16 goes inside the radical. Now, next, I can evaluate this the square root of 16 equals 4. So here I've used radical notation, I can call that Rn, and then I've evaluated it as well. I've evaluated the radical. Here's another one. Let's say I have 8 to the 1 -third power. 8 to the 1 -third can be rewritten using radical notation as the cubed root of 8. Now if I want to evaluate this, I'm looking for a number that when multiplied by itself three times will give me 8. I can evaluate the cubed root of 8 as being 2. Here's one more. Let's say I have 729 to the 1 -third power. Again, anything to the one-third power, I know I'm looking for the cubed root. So I'm looking for the cubed root of 729. The cubed root of 729 is 9. Now I've used radical notation, and I've evaluated the radical as well. Take a look at this one. Let's say I have 28 to the 5 sixth power. This is a little different. I'm looking for the sixth root of something. The sixth root is here. So to use radical notation, I'm going to say the sixth root of 28 to the fifth. 28 to the fifth. This is how I would write this expression in radical notation. Let's take a look at another one like that. Let's say I have 44 to the 3 fourths power, and I want to write it in radical notation. This 4 tells me I'm going to be looking for the fourth root. I start off like that. The fourth root of what? The fourth root of 44 to the third power. Let's look at another one. Let's say I have 28 to the 4 sevenths power. I am looking for the seventh root of 28 to the fourth.